Um, so moving on to the next agenda, we have another lightning talk, and um, and that's by blessing Eloha. She, oh yeah, great. And she'll be talking to us about um, revitalize your community. <laughs> Okay, I just have to say, you look good today. Awesome. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Sorry, I'm not going to lie. Okay. My name is Blessing Eloho. I don't know if my slide is coming up. Okay. Thank you. Okay, my name is Blessing Awensebe Eloho, and I'll be talking today on revitalizing communities. So... Yes, this is me. I am a community manager. I'm a pro um, project manager with a non-governmental organization. I am also a Women Tech Maker Ambassador, Google Women Tech Maker Ambassador, and I also lead the Google Developers Group, PAPE, which is in Abuja. I am a microbiologist. I do laboratory research as well. Yes. <laughs> I play drums. I play drums. I'm a band major. <laughs> so now just an overview of the topic. Um, I will be giving strategies on how to grow, not really grow, like rejuvenate your community, make sure that your community members are more engaging in the community as well. And also we are going to be prioritizing their health, so I'll be giving tips on how to do that as well. So now community health, um, I'll, be, I'll be looking at it from, it from three different angles, which is the physical health, the social well-being, and also the mental health. For the physical health, um, I would like to ask a question. How many of us here like, do regular exercises in the morning? If you lie, okay. <laughs> oh, that's good, that's good. <laughs> so um, for the physical health, is uh, mainly... Um, your nutrition, your exercise, those are like things that, you know, would help um, make you more healthy. Then there is the mental health as well. Um, a lot of us get stressed out from our jobs, so um, it's, it's best to share resources on stress management for your community and also um, be, being able to talk about mental health as well. Then for the social well-being, organizing events, having people connect with one another, make them have like a sense of belonging in the community also help as well. So um, I'll be sharing a quick story about a friend of mine. It actually inspired me to have this talk. He is a techie, an active member of the community. Ah, sorry, is it just me or oh, there are some names from this? Sorry, does anybody want to contribute to this talk? I would like to hear because, <laughs> please, I just have a few more minutes left. So I'll be sharing a, a, a story of my friend. He's a techie, active member of the tech community. So he was taking a class, Python, and he started having severe pains on his leg. So he just quickly round, rounded up his class and he went back to his office, but he couldn't bear it anymore. He was screaming, a mature man. He was screaming, and then he got to a point he was begging his colleagues to cut off his legs that he couldn't take it anymore. And then when he went to the hospital, the doctors were like, the leg is not the issue. It's from his spinal cord, his back. And the sitting position of him working on his laptop, that was what caused that. So will I say, lucky, unfortunately, unfortunately for my friend, it's not happened at an early age. Most people, it happens at their old age. But he's happened very, very early. So I'm just bringing this out here, trying to educate and make you all aware that sitting position really, really matters. So I'll be sharing uh, this photo here. So um, you can see the shape of the spinal cord. What happened to my friend was the spinal cord. His, the shape of his spinal cord curved to like a C, to this position where he normally, so it kind of affected him. So now there are like chairs and workspaces that are very, very convenient. I've seen some workspaces that you can stand, you can lie on your bed, and you know, they are like very, very supportive workspaces. So it's very, very important to prioritize the health of your community members. So I'll be sharing um, ways which, in which you can do that. First is promote, promote education and awareness, just like I just shared a story. You can have um, people 
uh, talk about this to your community members by collaborating with healthcare providers. Now, these healthcare providers, there are a lot of them um, within our community. So you can just have, it's not every time networking session, speaker session, in between your events, you can have somebody come talk to your community members, maybe for like 30 minutes or an hour. Uh, then also support mental health initiative. Uh, I'm really, really impressed. You know, a couple of years back, we weren't hearing much about mental health as Nigerians when I know these things. People don't really talk about it. But now, um, a lot of people host Twitter spaces, they give talk on mental health, and which is very, very impressive. And lastly, okay, lastly, you measure and evaluate impact. Get feedback from your community members. After doing all of this, get feedback from your community members. Uh, this will help you know if um, what you've been doing is valid or not. Now, we, um, why should we invest in community health? So these are some of the reasons, uh, or some of the benefits rather, for um, investing. Uh, if your community members are healthy, they tend to be more productive, right? So this is one of the reasons. Then there's increased innovation. If they are um, healthy, well, in a good state of mind, they tend to get ideas. You know, you'll be hearing a lot of startups, people getting startups from your community. And I don't know if some of, like in my community, the GDG Google Developers Group, they are like very, very active members there. And I'll be seeing comments on the group, like, oh, I am working on this project. Does anybody want to join? I'm building this app, I'm doing all of this. So there's like, a, if the members are not healthy, now, who were nine goals they think of ideas? No, be so. So, <laughs> that also put like a sense um, collaboration and all that. Then there's a sense of belonging. Ensure that your community members feel valued in your community. You host events, you know, networking session, and all of that. Uh, now, strategies for building a resilient and more connected community. So, this is my main topic, but I use the community help because. Like I said, you have to be healthy, you have to be in a good state of mind for you to be even active in a community, right? So now these are the strategies I'll be sharing on how to ensure that your community is resilient and, you know, connected. So, sorry. Uh, the first one is to foster social interaction and collaboration through community programs, you know, organizing events. Secondly, you encourage community participation and engagement in decision-making process. So there's something we do in my community just to get, especially the ladies, I don't know, but the women tech maker um, group, they are not very, very responsive. So what we do is we seek their opinions. So if we're having an event, we we'll reach out to them. Oh, what speaker would you like to see? Although they'll be mentioning these are Lagosians, the Adora, Ruth, Ikega, Ada, uh, but me, I cannot bring them. But at least that's a way of making them, you know, feel valued and then their decision. But if they pick Abuja Techies, we try our best to bring them there. So the next one is, okay, facilitate networking opportunities and build connection, which I have uh, spoken on. Then. Establish inclusive spaces. I really love what they are doing with um, the women tech makers because the space, especially here in Nigeria, the space, um, can, I'm really impressed with the number of ladies that turned up. Please clap for yourselves, ladies. Because usually it's 80%. 80% 80 guys in the room, but this is very, very impressive. So, um, Promote volunteerism and collective action. Now, um, we have this amazing event, and I know Ruth is the community manager, but she didn't do this alone. There are a lot of volunteers that, you know, work together. So, yes, promote this volunteerism. Some of your community members might not be active, but once there are like opportunity for them to volunteer, you see, oh, they, they bring their interest, and then after that, they become very, very active in the community as well. So these are some of the resources on mental health, on stress management, and basically what I have just spoken about. So thank you. This is me on Twitter. Thank you, thank you. 
And this is my um, LinkedIn URL code. You can connect with me.